Logistics, Premium Carbon Fiber Arrows presents That is by far the deadliest shot I've ever done in my life, man. These killing sticks. Rock and roll. is brought to you by Athens Archery, live your passion, Western Skies Argo, Alberta Badlands Taxidermy, Kong, 3D Targets, and these other fine sponsors. Hey now, just getting geared up here to uh, climb into the whitetail stand. Uh, I got four different spots I've got set up this year, but this one uh, is a real great spot and the wind's perfect tonight. Last night I couldn't sit, the wind was wrong for this one and the other one it wasn't, wind wasn't right either, but it's a west wind, kind of northwest, so it's perfect for the stand. So hopefully I get some action, get to launch one of these uh, micro LTs uh, with my, and Chris in this uh, brand new Vista 33. So, all right, wish me luck. I'm in a tree. I always like to check my lanes uh, and draw my bow one time, just to make sure I can draw it. Check this thing here. See already, see if I go to draw my bow, my lanyard's in the way. So I'm gonna have to change that. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Hey now, it's Calvin here with the Boneyard and today I'm going to just do a quick review on the Athens Vista 33. This bow is new for 2021. It is, uh, has the RTX cams. I've had this bow for about a month. I got her dialed in. Uh, it's a shooter. I really like this bow. You can set it to 80 to 90% let off. Uh, obviously the axle to axle is, is 30, 33 inches. And now it's with the RTX cams, uh, you can change the let off 80 to 90% and you can change your draw length from 25 inches to 31 inches, just two screws, boom, turn it on both ends and you're styling. And that is a really great feature to have. You know, when you're selling the bow or, or for yourself, you can just tweak that, uh, your draw length exactly to what you need. I uh, just, with my setup on this bow is I'm shooting the uh, stand release, uh, the SX3. I have, uh, uh, spider archery stabilizers, front and back stabilizers, 10 inch front bar, 8 inch back bar. And then I have, uh, I'm shooting the Micro LT, uh, 300 spine, 420 grains, um, and they are pounding. Uh, I have a black gold uh, single pin movable sight. After shooting it now for a month or month and a half, the draw cycle is just smooth as silk. Uh, you know, it comes back and just feels so nice. Um, in, in, when when you're holding it and with that 80 to 90 percent let off you know you can hold it for a long time uh, and still uh, um, make the shot just like that it's still got that sweet grip that I like so much. Lifetime warranty on this bow, uh, you know, when you hand it, you give it to your son or sell it to your cousin or your buddy, he's still got the warranty on the bow. Uh, they have all kinds of financing available to be able to purchase a bow uh, and, and their customer service is second to none. You phone there, you get a hold of Jim or Tracy and they'll fix you up. You know, great people, uh, great company. And this is just a sweet bow. I cannot wait to get out and uh, hunt. I got my moose draw this year. So uh, I'm hoping to uh, be able to harvest that moose with this bow. I'm gonna try real hard. Anyway, um, I'm loving this bow, Vista 33, Athens Vista 33. She's smooth as silk and I'm loving it.
Hey now, it is September 6th. I'm trying a different spot here for whitetails. Uh, yeah, last night I just had a doe and a fawn walk by. So hopefully tonight I got a big buck or something with antler. So uh, here we go. Well, I did her. I took my shot. I was, uh, he was quartering to me real hard, almost facing me, but I guess I wanted it too bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I crushed him. I know. We shall see. Hey now, it's Calvin here with the Boneyard and Kelton Sticks. Uh, I found my deer. Six days later, which is pretty crazy, but I didn't give up. I, you know, the crazy thing was he went, I thought he went north, because this is the first morning I come in to look for him, because I left him overnight, because he was quartering to me. And I know that's the, not the best shot to take, but I've been frustrated the last two years. I haven't killed a deer, and that was 20 yards in eye practice. And, you know, it's, you know, I can hit that thought every time at 20 yards, whatever, anyway. I uh, came in this trail, main trail, because usually they follow the main trails like that. Came in, walked right by him, both sides, actually all three sides I walked right by him because he was tucked under this uh, willow tree here. And uh, yeah, and, and I just, because I heard the crash that night and I thought, oh yeah, you know, I got him. And then when I didn't find no blood, because it's a high shot, that's the crappy thing of that. When you get a pass through or, you know, double lung on a broadside shot, you get the blood, right? And I'm shooting the... Uh, uh, the micro LTs with these uh, old school rocket broadheads I got from Rick Valdez. So they're an inch and a half blade, three of them. So that's a three inch cut right there. And uh, he's killed over 800 animals with that same broadhead. So I knew, like, I, I when I hit him, I knew I, he was dead. Like, I had a few guys say, oh, you know, that deer's still alive. You know, it's probably just running free when I couldn't find it. And I'm like, I, I ain't seeing that happening, but... Um, you know, anyway, it, it obviously died, and uh, I would have liked to have the meat for jerky and the back straps on the barbecue, but it is what it is. I, I don't have it, and uh, I, I'm just so happy I found it. Um, I was just real sad about not finding them, and, and you know, you just that when you never find them, it's like you just don't know what happened. You know, is there a deer running around with an arrow stuck in it? But I knew I got good penetration. When he turns and runs, you can see that arrow is sticking out maybe 10, 12 inches, and I'm shooting a 30-inch arrow. So, but I'm super happy I got to christen the uh, Vista 33, Athens. This is a sweet bow, and, and I'm loving it. I mean, I'm shooting the best I've ever shot, uh, you know. So I knew that, that, like, I was shooting good. So, you know, out to 50, I, I'm, it's, something's dying, right? But anyway, I'm just super happy I found it. Uh, I want to thank uh, all, all the companies that support us, you know, Killing Sticks, Athens Archery, uh, Western Skies, Argo, Rex, and all the boys. They're always so good to us, you know, uh, and Gary. Uh, just great people that have, have stuck with us and uh, support what we do here out here hunting and, and uh, chasing deer and elk and moose. Uh, and, of course, Kong, 
uh, you know, great targets. And uh, yeah, just don't give up sometimes and uh, you will be rewarded, but it's just too bad I didn't find them that morning. I was right on them. And then I second guessed myself and went the other way and I shouldn't have, I should have stuck in this area and I would have found them. I don't know what, I just, stupid is what it was, just stupid. I second guessed myself and it happens. Anyway, anyway uh, rock and roll blood and guts. The Boneyard is brought to you by Athens Archery. Live your passion. Western Skies Argo. Alberta Badlands Taxidermy. Kong. 3D Targets and these other fine sponsors.